Well, I guess one of the things that I find primarily in my own kind of witnessing or sharing of Christ with Thai people is that I choose not to focus upon Buddhism, uh, instead focus upon Christ and what Jesus has done in my life to change my life. Because you have to be so careful in a uh, shame-based culture, face culture, that what you say is, is something that doesn't put down Buddha or doesn't put down the Buddhist religion. Uh, because if you do that, you'll lose the relationship right there. They'll cut you off right there and won't listen to anything else you have to say. Um, so I study about the tenets of Buddhism, um, but I don't ever talk about Buddha or or things about Buddha, um, unless I'm in a specific situation, I can do that. Uh, because I don't want to be able to break that opportunity for them to be able to hear further. So I focus mainly just on what Jesus has done in my life and how Jesus can kind of help them, give them hope, and how he has changed me and how he can change them. Uh, so that's one thing that I do. Um, the second thing is, you'll, in, if you were to go to Thailand, one of the things that you would see is that Every geographical location, whether it's a house or a business, um, has something what's called a spirit house on it. Um, and one of the things you need to understand about the, the form of Buddhism in, in Thailand is that um, the foundation is really animism or the worship of the spirit world. And then you add on top of that Brahmanism, which is a form of Hinduism. And then on top of that, they've added Buddhism. So for, um, for me to talk to a Thai person, to get at the heart issues of where a Thai person is at, you've got to go through three layers to go through. But for the average Thai Buddhist, um, there is a great fear of the spirit world. So what they do is they, they buy these elaborate spirit houses and put, um, uh, offer pop, like red pop, red fanta you will see, um, along with uh, burn incense and fruit and vegetables and put little ornaments in these spirit houses. And the belief is that, the Thai person believes that, um, that they live in fear of the spirit world, so the hope is they, they make these houses appealing to the, to the average spirit so that the spirit will come and live inside that spirit house instead of coming into your house and cursing your household. So Thai people live in this constant fear of the spirit world. Um, so one of the things that we come and talk to Thai people about is how Jesus can help them to overcome their fear of the spirit world. That you don't need to be afraid of demons or evil spirits if you have Christ in your life. And uh, so that's kind of meeting them really where, where they're at on a daily basis. Um, so that's a second way that we kind of talk to Thai people about Christ. Um, and I guess a third thing would be um, is that one of the things when you talk about, um, when we hear that all religions are good, um, as I would answer a Thai person by saying, yes, all, many religions teach you to be a good person. But one of the differences that we've seen in Christianity is that Jesus gives you the power to be the kind of person that um, the Bible teaches that he wants us to be. So, for example, Buddhism will teach you to be a good person also. Don't, you know, don't drink, don't smoke, don't get involved in immorality. You keep the five basic Th things of for, uh, you don't do the four uh, habitions or whatever they, 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 what they call them, and uh, but the thing is, it tells you and Buddhism teaches you that you ought to be a good person, but doesn't give you the power to be a good person. And so, in talking with Thai people, as I will tell them about how Christ can give them the power to change you to be the kind of person that you ought to be, that the Bible teaches you that you should be, um, and that where Buddhism falls short in that in that in that element.